All right, of course, since we're doing top-down modeling here, we're going to do all these as separate bodies and then convert them to components. So at this point, let's go ahead and create a sketch. We're going to build the uh, liquid for the hot chocolate. So I'm going to put a sketch on the YZ plane. And then what I'm going to want to do with that is let's go ahead and project uh, we need to project some of the insides for the cup. And so I've got all those different, those three links. I'm going to say OK. And then since I'm drawing inside the cup, after doing that projection, I'm going to turn off the visibility on the cup. You see, these are the boundary lines for where I want my cup to be. Um, so for my hot chocolate, let's go ahead and draw a line and make it a center line in the middle. So let's get that midpoint. And I don't necessarily want to fill the cup up to the top. So oh, let's go up, say, three and a half inches, maybe 3.75 inches. We don't want anybody to complain that they didn't get a full cup of hot chocolate. Um, so then, let's see, what else do I need? I need a fillet to enclose that shape. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw this as an object line in those projected lines so we don't have any confusion. Let's at least make that one a uh, construction line. And then I'm going to come up to the top here with an object line. And then to give this hot chocolate some life, what I'm going to do is use the spline tool again just to give my hot chocolate a little bit of a ripple. Like maybe we're drinking this hot chocolate outside and the wind's blowing across. So it's going to give a little bit of a surface uh, when I do my revolve. So I'll go ahead and revolve that. Okay, and then when we turn the mug back on, we see that looks pretty good. We, we can see kind of a little bit of a ripple on the surface of hot chocolate. So there's the hot chocolate.